Hi, it's Jill with Cryptflix. I'm finishing up some centerpieces here that were made using the images off of an invitation. Uh, the invitation is real woodsy and outdoors, outdoorsy. And it was navy blue and silver. And this is how we came up with what we did. They, she wanted the moose, the bear, and the duck. So they're one foot pieces and we used a kind of a grunge navy blue Again, the image at the card, I'm going to put a picture of that up if I can at the end when I show the pictures of the centerpieces. It's not a solid blue. It's got black in it. Um, and it's not a true grunge either because we didn't have a blue in that, a navy blue. Well, I didn't have one in my files. And I really like the way this came out. All of these are going to be put on these bases. And when you may, when they're one foot, I've mentioned this before on numerous videos, that it's one foot at the highest, um, whether it be long or tall. In this particular case, all of these are one foot long, which would be the highest point. It has to fit on a 12 inch mat and turn it any way you can. And then it, it is 12 inches again from the highest point. I'm trying to think where she measured from. Yeah, it is. It's 12 inches, okay? And then this base gives a little bit more, and I love these bases. Anyway, and I'm going to add to them. There we got the moose standing at detention. And I have numerous elements here to work with. I have some tree, chunks of tree. I've got some greenery. I've got these logs here. And I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm just going to dump this out and see what I'm going to do. I also have these, which were from Hobby Lobby, in the Christmas decor. And it is nothing more than a bunch of twigs. And I looked at it in the store, and to me it appears that it is glittered all the way through so I went with it and got it and now I'm going to cut it open because this is a decoration as is but I don't want it like that I want just the twigs and those are what I'm going to be using on these bases and they've got that little bit of glitter on them again the party is um, silver and navy or the invite so these will work perfect and it looks like that yep they're silver and white all the way through. So we're good. So it's kind of a... Now, I've just got to decide how I want to put them up. Ooh, now I'm liking that. Standing up. Let's see. You guys are going to see as I do this. I've never done it before. So, I am going to try it now maybe over... That doesn't matter. I'm going to put it right here. And what I'm going to do is hot glue it on... They're all cut with really straight, um, they're cut, they're not crooked like broken, they're, they're cut straight so you can put them in a standing or laid down however you want. But I want to make sure that they're really strong and don't fall over. So I am going to put two of them together and then I'm going to add something to it to even strengthen it more. A bit more hot glue back there, and I'm going to put another twig in. Some of these I'm going to cut the twigs up. I'm not going to do them all the same. They're all going to be different. And I think at the base of this one, to add strength, I am going to add some of this moss. And I could add some of these little pieces here too. Again, I just want to make sure it doesn't fall off. So I want it glued on really well and reinforced. And I don't think I need that. I'm going to do it with moss. And I've got some purple and I've got some like looks like mushroom or I don't know what it is, but this is going to work perfect. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the moose off while I do this. I, ooh, there's nothing all on the floor. Okay, now let me decide, do I want to take, and all I have to do is make sure 
that that's the reason I had him in there is I need to make sure that I don't get in the way of the legs or anything. So I think I'm going to go with one piece of log there, a little bit bigger. Again, these can get knocked off, and so I want them reinforced the best that I can. Now I'm going to add the moss. And I'm going to grab a little twig from in here and throw that that way. I love these bases. Um, the other ones that I did, um, depending on the centerpiece, would mandate what kind of, or drive what I would use as a base. Um, I went online and ordered a hundred of these and told my husband I'd ordered a hundred because he's out there and staining them and he has to drill them and he has to add the wood in the bottom so that they stand and it it's a little bit more of a process than painting but he agrees with me that we really like them so and he said wow well, you're not going to need a hundred well this project I'm working on right now is going to take 12 and a hundred's not going to be enough I can see I'm going to have to turn around and order a hundred more but if too many come in at once and he's doing the preparing of them to use he's not going to like it he'll be a little overwhelmed for, for seeing boxes or crates of these but you do go through a lot of bases when you do this it's okay now i'm going to add some green and where did that this weird look thing go there we go And that is just going to take a dab. And this thing is just, it looks like it was, I'm not sure what it was. To be, I was going to say it looked like something, but I have no idea what it looks like. It's weird looking. But this is the way it was, so I'm going to put it back down, face down. I want to give it a woodsy, very woodsy look. And I do believe... I'm going to have to say I'm pretty sure I got enough for me to go ahead and fill down in here. This one's going to be, okay, yep. Again, I just want to make sure these do not get knocked off. Now you wonder why I buy hot, <laughs> hot glue. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a break from here and I'm going to go get my other hot glue that I accidentally ordered but it is supposed to be um, more, used more for really heavy duty sticking, things that you don't want to ever fall apart, probably like furniture. I don't know what it was for, but I ordered it by accident and what I didn't like is it's yellow instead of white. However, I'll just don't have, I have to make it so it just doesn't show. Okay guys, I'm gonna go with that and Hope it didn't go over the hole. I didn't. Not only don't, you don't want to go over the hole, but you don't want to go to where the other foot does. Okay, there we go. I am not going to do both sides. I'm going to do one side. But right now, I'm going to run down and get the other glue sticks because I think they're a little bit stronger. So I will be back in a flash. Okay, guys, I am back. I went and got these sticks that... You can see the difference in the color. And I thought, why are the sticks so yellow? And I went and looked it up, and I thought I just did hit something reorder from my last order, but apparently I didn't. But these are supposed to be used more for, they're stronger. In a nutshell, they're, they're, they're supposed to be stronger. So I am going to try them out when this one runs out. I'm not going to take that one out until, OK? Number two is going to come up. Let's see what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to grab... I love these things. Though. They are really, really cool. Um, I am going to try and move him more over here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to glue that one down there. And... I was going to cut up a bunch, but they're really, really thick. Maybe some of them here are a little bit thinner. So 
I can do a little cutting on them. Okay, let's try and see. I don't want them all to look the same. I want them to all be different. Oh, but it's awfully cute like that, too. This is going to be really hard for me, guys, because that was going to cut all these up. All I want to do is just cut them in pieces and make stacks of, of wood. Okay, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that because that was the original plan. And you can see how I stand track so well. Okay. I'm getting excited about the season. Um, I had grandkids last night. I know that's a big shock because I usually have, I have them all the time. But I had three of them last night. and took them out to uh, Cracker Barrel which Cracker Barrel is probably one of my favorite restaurants, and it's not for the food, it's for the shop. Oh, and my, my grandkids, you know, when you say, where do you want to go eat? They all go in Cracker Barrel when they get there. Can we go shopping? And um, I love it. And now with the holidays, oh my gosh, they have so much Halloween and Christmas stuff. Oh, I'm, it, I just, like I said, I got my house decorated <laughs> decorated to a disgusting degree that somebody would say I need it, really need to go in and get some sort of um, help, some sort of therapy because I've got, actually I got my little buddy here, my little skeleton buddy sitting in my office. She won't sit up straight though. I got to figure out why. Um, I did not make her. She just is in my office and behind me, my window and my everything is decorated, not a ton because I don't have any room in here um, but I thoroughly enjoy the holidays and after becoming a grandparent the holidays just got they just got better and the bigger my grandkids get the bigger the holiday gets it, we just have so much fun and our party is in two weeks and um, there was yesterday uh, messages that my phone just kept dinging and, and I was in, I was in the shower and I was trying to get ready and I just kept hearing my phone ding dinging and I finally when I got out I asked my son, husband who I thought was still sleeping I had gotten up early because I had to take care of two of my grandkids early in the morning but um, I said what is all that dinging he said I don't know it's your phone I said, my phone nobody dings me this early in the morning they know better than that and sure enough it was my phone but what they did is they had um, put everybody's name um, um, messages going back and forth and it was what everybody was going to be bringing and what games for the children to play and um, I'm in charge of a cauldron and filling with candy but they're taking all of my my daughter is taking all of my decorations I shouldn't say all my big uh, monster that everybody's afraid of I don't know what I call it the skeleton guy that He's all scrunched down, and when you when you go by him, motion makes him stand up, and he's over seven feet tall. All the kids are like, "Whoa, really? Don't like, <laughs> don't like that very much." Even my ten-year-old granddaughter, she's like, "That's really freaky." It's Halloween, of course it's freaky. But we're putting everything up at her house, so I have to move it from here to there that week, and then from there to here back because I said you got to bring it back for Halloween at my house. But. Um, the the ones that were over last night, uh, they just have a hoot. They love it. They they love the holidays. Just the, it's in the air. I did tell everybody though. Now we're gonna turn Christmas down and do more giving. Um, adopt a family, that sort of thing, because nobody needs anything. We're gonna try and, and teach the children now that they need to give and help others because it needs to be a good holiday for everybody. It's a holiday of giving. And my grandkids love to do that. Kendall had a reading in her school yesterday afternoon that my husband and I went to. Um, and they had to write, they had to read a book and then they had to write a report on it and the, and the teacher assigned them certain things that they had to put in their report, like what did you take away from this and what do you think, just, I don't even remember what it was, but um, <laughs> when Kendall gave her presentation to us when we got there, 
Um, she was going so fast, my husband's like, I don't have any idea. She's like me. We talk very, very, very fast. And my husband's like, I don't have any idea what she just said. I said, I don't either, but it sure was cute. And I went to another little boy that was right by her. And he is, not only could I not understand what he was saying, I was trying to read what he wrote on his computer. They all had little laptops. And they had to write the report and then do kind of like a... Um, what well, was it? Point presentation, and they're nine. So what is she in third grade, fourth grade, five, fourth grade? Yeah, fourth grade. Can we keep track, guys? They grow too fast. But um, his was all spelled wrong. He did it phonetically, so everything that it sounded like he, that's how he wrote it. And I was talking to my granddaughter because he was right behind her, and I said his spelling was all wrong. Didn't you guys go the teacher and, and check that before you? had all the parents and grandparents and friends of the family and everybody coming in and she said yeah but he didn't care he said i'm not fixing it I said he didn't care he just left it i said well more power to him however that's not going to be the bookcase as he grows older and it was pretty funny though because he did sounding everything that he wrote did sound right but it was all spelled wrong Okay, guys, I have enough glue on here, I think, to hold a roof on, I'm hoping. I'm put a little dab more of the moss. I, I, again, I do not want these falling off. There, that one's a little bit different. And let's try a duck. We're going to do a duck. Um, and I'm not going to have these on a duck because he should be up in the air and I don't have any clouds. What can I put on the duck? Hmm. Guys, I'm going to have to skip the duck for now and do the bear. Okay, we're going to do the bear. Um, i got to figure out what I want to do on the ducks. My husband, he's out there when he does these boxes. It, it <laughs> It's not easy. They all have to be hand stained and then you have to he has to cut up wood to make the wood inside, and then he's got to wood glue them together, and then he's got to drill them, and and it, it's a lot. Okay, I think I'm going to try this one. And I think how I'm going to do this one is, this was a thing that I got last year at Christmas time at Hobby Lobby, because this is actually part of a Christmas decoration. Except a lot of times when I'm looking at that stuff, when I go to Hobby Lobby, oh, that place I need to have a visor on when I go. Uh, for a, yeah, because I just, I see and want everything. And their craft is, oh, love it. But more of the stuff for the house. It's so awesome. I don't want this white felt on here. It's showing. don't want it showing. So... Not very easily, but I did take it apart. Very sweet and simple this is going to be. Oh, that one had mop felt on it. No biggie. It didn't show. It just didn't want it to show. That was all. And then I'm going to put this one right on top. Slanted. And I think what I'm going to have to do is roll a little piece. I This is bad, guys. I'm not doing it so you can see me doing it. I'm sorry, but... This is kind of an awkward, I'm going to take this thin one of these. I don't want this to get knocked off, and it's sitting there oddly, so I'm going to put one across underneath it. Again, what I'm trying to do is re reinforce more than anything, all of them from falling off. And I highly doubt that these are going anywhere. And I've got enough room to turn this bad boy upside down, and shoot a little bit of glue in there and I don't want glue showing so that's why I'm turning him upside down and I do not think that he's going to come apart now I'm going to home a little bit so that cools down here's how I did him okay now the next bear let's see what we're going to do I've got 12 of these to do Let's see, there's four of each, but with the duck, i got to come up with something for the duck. I'm not really sure what. I think I'll make some clouds. 
I think that would work best on the duck. But I don't want to make them. I don't want to make them out of paper. I have to think of something. Guess I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby because I have to go and pick up some teal ribbon for um, another project I'm finishing up, which will be another video. I think I have a video I need to upload, or I might have done it already. I don't remember. I better check and see. And I'm just going to do one more bear, and then I am going to take a break and go to Hobby Lobby to get the teal I need and see if I can find something. <gasps> nope. I see some crystals in there that I'm going to use for the duck. He's flying low. He's flying low, so I'm going to do some crystals. I got it. I just saw them in my closet. I'm always looking around because I, I had so much stuff stored under beds when my mother was living with me that I had forgotten what all I have. And I need to start making sure I use it all up. And I'm going to put one in the front, like that. And then I'm going to grab another one. anything there to glue so let me grab this little piece this little piece here we go there we go okay yeah. it didn't the, he wasn't touching the log back here right with the glue so I am going to drop a little piece in there there we go here's the next one now I'm going to stop here and you know all the glitter off of me from those glitter sticks. I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby and get the stuff that I need. And I will be back shortly and continue on. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. I made my run to Hobby Lobby and got my teal ribbon. That's going to be on my next project that I'm working on. And I decided... To go for the ducks, I am going to use some crystal-like things. Like the duck is flying, because ducks do fly down to the, one of the marsh or whatever it is. Noisy. And so, I am going to use some of these. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby in the Christmas decorations. I had gotten some last year. Um, I could just kick myself because I, I pick up these things. I think, oh, man, this would be so nice to use on something. But I always have so much to do that I, I don't get time to use what I had purchased. And this is a perfect example because I already had these and I just went and picked up more. So I've decided I'm going to use them on the front. <clears throat> I'm going to call, cut it in small pieces. Now this breaks up quite a bit when you're cutting it. Um, I don't think they were meant to be cut. However, they didn't know me when they made them. So I am cutting them. I'm get my, my cutter's getting a little bit dull. And I asked my husband to get me a new one and I showed him one that somebody was using on a video. And he got it for me, and I hate it. Awful cutter. The best one I've had has been this one, except it is getting dull. And it's hard to cut these pieces when they're covered with all this junk. But I will get through them, and I will make a mess in doing so. Let me get the ones that I'd already torn apart, too. I'm going to swap these out, because I've got some that there's no, no tags or anything. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're not. I thought I had some with no tags on them. I guess they're not. <clears throat> okay. There we go. And. Okay. 
Okay. Christmas, some of the Christmas um, decorations. I don't know what they're, what, what you'd call them. Yeah, I think they're for the most part decorations. They have some of the coolest things that you can use. And they're usually pretty inexpensive. Um, like these were 99 cents, but they're on sale for 50% off, so they're 50 cents. Um, I do, I would tell you, which I think everybody knows that does this, you don't buy it, it's not on sale. Because it'll be on sale the next day. The day after you buy it, it'll be on sale. Guaranteed. Okay. I have enough to at least get a couple of these done. I think. Oh. I don't know um, how many of you are familiar with the Wild Tree uh, brand of spices. But oh, I've got this one too. I have uh, gone to, I think this last one at my daughter's house this past week was my fourth one that I've been to. And you do a meal prep. The, the rep from Wild Tree sends you uh, a whole list of, of different food types that you might want to uh, cook. Uh, crock pot. Um, I happen to pick old, old, I think it was old style. I don't remember. Um, I'm not a real big on crock pot, and I don't need it since my husband and I are both here. But I do like things that are quick because, as most of you that follow me know, I am not real big on cooking. However, now that my mother has moved out, and I don't have that that work, my, as my husband would say, uh, he he is uh, <laughs> asking me daily, "What's for supper?" So I am back into cooking again, guys. Not willingly, but I have, have been. I guess we're gonna. I'll say we're sharing. But before we weren't sharing, he was doing it all. But I went to the the this this um, meal prep because I knew that I was going to be doing things that I needed to or wanted to or whatever, and I was going to have to stop to cook dinner or lumper we call it because we eat between three and four, and that's our lunch and dinner all at once. But um, if you ever get invited to one of those parties, go. Oh, it, <laughs> I just lost my mint right on my mouth. Well, guys, how was that? It was great. And I just dropped all of that glitter all over me. Man. Anyway, I don't know what I was saying. So I'm just going to forget. I'm not going to pick up on that. I'm take him out. And I was thinking of having, it is winter, well, working on winter, and these animals are not, I mean, these would be uh, north, north bears and the northern woods. These are kind of, I would say, northern woods. People go bear hunting and deer hunting and duck hunting a lot in the Midwest. So, the Midwest to me has winters. So, what I'm going to put on here is a couple little, little tiny snowflakes in the background. Not big ones. And just a couple. Because I'm going to put the, the frozen, the, the frozen, this, these on here, more to the front. Here when our lakes freeze, the ducks are all out walking around uh, looking for food. And it used to be this one area when my kids were, were little, we used to go there all the time to feed the ducks. And oh my god, the kids loved it. Well now they don't let you feed the ducks. We're overpopulated with them and they don't want you feeding them. So my grandkids missed out on that fun. And it, then my husband started taking my grandkids to feed the horses. There's a place down the, down the way a bit that has horses. So he said, well, if I can't feed the ducks, I'm gonna feed the horses. Then they took that away. So then we found, well, th that particular place didn't want us feeding them. So we had to stop that. 
So we found another place that um, they could feed them. And yeah, and, oh, was, yeah, it was horses. And um, it's something that's so simple with little kids to do. And they love it. It just seems like, oh man, you know, I remember when my husband said, let's go feed the ducks. I'd be going, oh, oh yeah, we were going to feed the ducks. But my kids loved it. Loved it. I'm not a real cold freak. I didn't get, get into, when I was little, I did. When it, but uh, I figure I got older, as I got older, I got smarter, smarter and disliked the cold. Then I moved down south, lived down south for seven years, and missed the cold. So I came back to it all jolly jolly because they're good. I'm going to go back into the frozen tundra and live. And then still kicking myself thinking, what were you thinking? It is cold up here. But what I'm thinking is family's more important than anything on this planet. So we do what we do in the best interest of our families. And my whole family is up here. And now my children, born and raised here, and I will not move away from my children for anything, nothing. I don't care how cold it gets. There's no way I would leave them to move to a warmer climate. So I just suck it up and enjoy the winter. The first snow falls. Well, at least now I don't have to go out in it. If I go out in it, it's a choice. But it uh, sure is pretty. And the Ducks are going to like this. I can feel it. And maybe I'm going to put a little tiny bit of moss down on the bottom. These are really fun, guys. I'm, I'm having too much fun making these. I just hope they're liked as well as I like them. A little bit too much. I just want to touch. There we go. Got it. And there we go. Now we're going to put one of the little ducks on there. Four down and only eight to go. And we have eight more to set up. Hardly sounds like anything, doesn't it? Okay, there we go. That had a little bit of a broken branch. There we have the duck. Again, I, I will try and remember to load the picture of the invite that is the driving the theme of the party. Love the glitter all over me. Um, the bear is one I haven't done yet, right? I did a bear. I don't know. I think I did a bear. But... I'm just going to work on not doing any to alike, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. And I'm going to make this box way off kilter. Maybe I'll put that in later. Put a big chunk of this wood. This wood, you can get these anywhere. They're just... Um, actually, actually, uh, when my, when my daughter got married, um, her father-in-law, her, her husband, um, was born and raised on a, on a farm and their, his parents still live there and they have, um, they chop their own wood and they heat their house with wood burning stove and, and, um, he cut all these logs out for Amy for the wedding because we were doing that. Amy lives in a log home. So they were doing the theme to go with the log home. And he cut all these logs off to make for bases that we, we made her decorations out of. And I never even thought to ask her, hey, when you're down there visiting, get me some wood <laughs> chopped up. Because he would. He chopped, he, I don't know how many logs he cut up for her. But, um... My, they were going there, left there today. My daughter 
Ed's um, husband had come and picked her car up while she was at dance classes with ballet with Amy and, and Wyatt. And when Amy goes to leave, she realized she had, didn't have any car seats. So she called me she, um, to bring bring some to her. And um, I said, I'm not going to take not mine out of the car because they're a hassle to put back. I said, I'll come and get the kids and, and you, and I'll take them home. And Charlie was so thrilled. Oh, she was so excited because I was going to come get her and take her home. So we chatted all the way home, and she was so excited about going up to see Grandma and Grandpa. She says, oh, she loves to go up there because he takes them out on the, on the wagon, on the tractor, and pulls a wagon behind them, and they just absolutely love it. And it's, it's just one of those things for kids. It's so awesome. I hope that I think my kids realize when they're growing up, my grandkids, how blessed they were. And that they pass on the importance of family. I want it to go on and on and never end. There we go. That bear. This is my thing with when I say no two are identical or alike. I am dead serious. Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> glitter flying everywhere. Okay. Moose, come here, moose. I think I'm gonna stand them up. Come on, on a, their stand first. And then oh, he's got a little bit of hot glue on his butt. There we go. You have to be really careful when you're taking hot glue off a print cut because it'll take the ink off. So just a word to the wise. You're almost better off taking the glue gun tip and heating it, and that's taking a spatula and pushing it off. There's way, different ways you can do it, but don't just pull it. It will take the color right with it. Oh, I hope I'm not running out of bases. I'm going to have to tell my husband's going to get back out in the garage and get me more ready. Okay, there we go. And... I decided to put them all <laughs> on the bases as I get them. Whatever. Okay. And I'm kind of watching the camera because it may run out before I do. Oh, I counted up just the right amount. I think I am going to love the way these came out, though. I love the color. Um, with that black tint of black in them, absolutely perfect for this theme. Just awesome. Sorry, bear. There we go. All right, now I got some room here. I think. Okay, we're going to take him, and I'm going to go with. the logs. These aren't super easy to peel off this, this stuff that they're on. They would be easier to peel off if I heated it, if I would take my heat gun and heat up the glue. Then I'd be able to pull them off, but then it gets real messy. I don't like messy. Although I have a huge mess going on in front of me here now. Okay. Guys, bear with me here. I am thinking this guy's going to need a big tree. Maybe. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, okay. Let me do this without him on it. That was pretty dumb putting them all on. Because it's. Okay. Should I quit while my head, guys? Should I just not do this anymore? Because my klutziness is showing. I might, cut, might get to that. I may have to just say it's just getting to be too much. But it's so much fun. OK, 
Okay, now we're going to come in into what do I need to put in here to secure them? We're going to start with one trunk. Because then I can build up on that. And I guess if I had them drilled out and poked them down and out, and, and it would make it easier if I had a little hand. I probably could, but I don't. I mean, every single one that I do, I want different. I don't want any two alike. So, this is why I do it this way. Is I'm not looking at any other piece while I'm doing it. So, they're all unique. There we go. Maybe. Let's put a little, grab a little moss, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I had to tell that might be going on. Oh, my granddaughter did tell me today, though, when I was in the car with her, um, that she had asked her dad um, if he would marry his girlfriend. And... I didn't realize she'd asked him. All she she told my daughter that um, that he said he was getting married, and we never. I mean, we always said he'll never marry again. And so when Charlie had said that that he was getting married again, I was kind of like, I highly doubt that he would do that. Um, but she told me today that she asked him if he would. He said, Yeah, okay, we will one day. Um, I'm like, why did you ask him? She says, because I want them to be married. And coming from the mouth of a six-year-old, I thought, you know what? I come from a divorced family. I get it. I get it. It's not fun as a kid. And the worst part is, is it's not fun as an adult either. It never goes away. It never becomes simple. I've been having, have been having that issue with my mother really, really bad with her anger at my father. And so once she moved in with me and we would have gatherings, she would get furious if he was there. And really, really hard because you can't pick sides. And Our parents are our parents and we love them all. And it's hard because they're, what they're wanting, telling you to do as a parent, it's not a good idea, is telling the kids to choose. And that's not good. But I wish for Charlie's. Well, no, I don't wish for Charlie's because if, if, if he was marriage material, I would say, oh, that'd be nice. But I would not want to have to see them go through another divorce. To think that he was having his gala with this woman when my grandkids were infants. Wyatt was a baby and Charlie was a year old. And so they don't remember anything when mommy and daddy, actually, Char Charlie had asked if her mom and dad were ever married because she saw a picture of them. She said, I never knew they were ever married. They don't remember anything. It's better to keep it that way. For the sake of everyone, just keep it like that. I don't know why I got up and went off on there, guys. I got derailed again. Probably, I have a choice here. I can uh, give you guys a break and just finish these on my own, or continuing, continuing, continue jabbering. And I am hopeless. I am so hopeless. Okay, let's get a little more. Oh, I'm going to wrap this piece. I see trailing along here. And I'm just going to stick it there. Not be like that. And then we take this little piece here. And I start talking about the wild tree, guys. 
and don't know if I mentioned that I cooked today and just ate. That's why I started talking about it. And it was so good. And I said to my husband, I split the things in half because they're supposed to be made meals for four. And so I split them in half because it's just my husband and I. And even split in half, I cooked it and I said, oh my God, this is still enough. We're still going to have two meals out of this. Two, two full meals. <laughs> but after we started eating, it was so unbelievably good that uh, there wasn't even an aroma left when we were done. So, so good. And I think, man, why don't I do these meal preps all the time? Because what you do is, if you're a larger family and need the four to six servings, that's what it is. It's ten meals. But I split mine in half, so I get twenty. And I probably could have split that meal today in half yet once again. However, I didn't. I ate it, and the only reason I ate it is because it was cooked. But if I had not made it, I would not have been hungry when it was done. <gasps> Guys, I, I don't know. I don't like to toot my own horn, and I'm not trying to, but because this is not a work of art, this is not something that anybody, that anybody can do this. So, toot my horn isn't giving me credit for anything other than putting a bunch of junk on there. I shouldn't say a bunch of junk, but it doesn't take uh, a genius to do this. That is, love it. Let's do another quack quack. And I don't have a whole lot that I'm going to be doing with the ducks, only because I'm trying to get it more like they're flying low on the duck wherever, wherever they hide or sleep or whatever. Whatever it is that they do. But you know what? I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five left to do. So maybe I will give you guys a break because I have numerous videos I'm going to be doing tonight. So I'm not going to subject you to watch me through this whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and get all this glitter off of me. And um, I will take some pictures and the next video will be on a completely different subject. Thanks a lot for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.